Welcome to Las Vegas Modern Kung Fu Channel. This is Sifu Fu JJ. How are you, my friend? Every day is a new beginning. Are you ready for a beautiful, amazing day? Start now. A video Q&A Learning Kung Fu at home. I choose five questions to answer today. The first one, is it too late to start Kung Fu? The answer is you're never too late to start Kung Fu. Someone told me I'm nine years old. Maybe I'm too late to start Kung Fu. No. In my life class, I have as young as three years old, little kids. They can do Kung Fu and do Wushu. They're doing very well. And someone told me I'm 60 years old. Maybe I'm too late to start Kung Fu. The answer also is no. I have seen much older people to doing Kung Fu and also they doing very well. So Why I saying that? Because Kung Fu have so many different styles and form to fit different level and age. So you can do it. If you have a bigger age, you can to choose the internal Kung Fu style, like Xing Yi, Bagua, Tai Chi. The more doing and you more better and make you younger and make you stronger. For young people, you might choose the external step to take the challenge to jumping, to flipping, to folding, to fighting. Why not? You're never too late to start Kung Fu and Wushu training. The second question, how many days and times should I practice Kung Fu? My answer is do as much as possible within your limit. In general, I will suggest three days a week, one hour to three hours a day. So this answer is according from my life student and class. So my student coming about three days a week and they training one hour to three hours a day and they got a good result. But for online class might be different, but also depends how the content, how the way you're training. For example, if you just start training with the punches, so you never stop, do 10 minutes with that, and you do horse dance for 5 minutes with your punches. And then you do conditioning, and after you do stretching, and then you try to do some jumping kicks. You non-stop for 1 hour, and probably this is equal 3 hours if you just do a little bit punch, and go water break, and rest. And come back, you do a little conditioning, and go water, and break, and come back. So it really depends how intensive the content you're training each day. The best way is, before you start training, to set your plan. For example, I want to do the punches, punches, 20 times by three sides. And the same thing for palms, 20 by three sides. For example, like this, so anything else, kicking and stunches or conditioning. So set plan and follow your plan and training hard. Or you can follow my real timing Kung Fu class. Follow from the beginning until the end. And you go water break and come back to do other time. And you go water break, come back to do another time. So if you do three times or five times a day, I believe that's enough and it's a good training. Number three, how to make your strong body condition? The answer is training Kung Fu forms already is a good exercise to improve your body condition to make you stronger. For Kung Fu Wushu training, it's a great workout for your body every muscles. Like you do punches, like you do stunches, or you do jumpings, you do every combinations, always work out every single muscles of your whole body. It's approved by the science Kung Fu Wushu studies. There's one form to improve your body condition very quick. That is Di Tang Quan. So let's try this way. So if you just fall down the floor and quick get up, no matter what way it is, you go fall and get up and fall, get up. You try it, how much energy you need to give and how much workout your body muscles. It's a great, great workout. Of course, all other conditioning training will be help you very much. Let's push up and jumping jack and squats and frog jump. All other condition training, those things will improve your body muscles to make you stronger. Also, the Tai Chi basics is very, very helpful to improve your muscles strong for your legs. Who are professional to practice Tai Chi, you check their legs. They have a very strong and big legs because the way how they're training 
which is the transition, which is the slow motion. The muscle works very hard and your muscle is burning once with the slow transition. That is a great way to improve your strong leg muscles. After all, check out my workout videos in Las Vegas Martin Kung Fu channel. Can you upload the Tai Chi and meditation videos? Actually, I already have some video out there in Las Vegas Martin Kung Fu channel. I will make more in the future. Hope that's answered your question. Thank you. Last question. Can I learn Kung Fu at home? That is a great question. I think a most interesting question to ask. My answer is nothing is impossible. I didn't say that's easy. It's not easy. Training at home with small spaces is challenge. It's limited because you don't have the equipment to support you. You don't have a life coach to support you. And sometimes just watch video also is hard. But this is my question to ask you. Do you make sure you want to do this? Are you make decision want to learn in Kung Fu at home or not? If the answer is yes, then you always can find a way. Set your plan and get up early and keep training until to achieve every single move you want to achieve. There is a common problem, not only for online or in life. Many of the students, they start the first day, they are fresh. They're so exciting. They say, I want to be a movie star like a Jet Li, like a Jackie Chan. But after a while, they lose the motivation because the result coming slow. But this is normal, just like everything else. Like you start in school, you need to start the first grade and you need to finish all your steps to the second grade, third grade. Only the one stick in and trust what they do and they work hard. They never give up. One day you will achieve your goal. Beside this question, someone asked me, did you ever want to give up something? Yes. Sometimes I want to give up something. For example, for YouTube, it's hard. I need to spend a couple hours to make one video and sometimes I put out and no one watch. Sometimes I did a plan, I feel I prepared the perfect and make a good topic and no one watch. I make this video, how I create the next video, what is the idea for next video. If you want to make a good video, you need a research, you need to study. This is many work. I'm not right here to complain. Sometimes I'm stuck. I'm burning out. I want to give up. But I didn't give up because the first day I decided to do YouTube. I want to make a video to help thousands of people to learn Kung Fu at home. I want to make a friend. I want to connect with people by Kung Fu training. And actually I did everything I want. And why I'm careful getting some more views, more subscribers, and more and more are getting so greedy. And this is making me a burning out and not happy. And I telling me, forgot about how much views for the video, how much subscribers, how many people like your content, and someone no like your content. It doesn't matter. It's my purpose, my goal. Want to help people to learning Kung Fu at home. Even my video just to help a one person, one audience to answer your question and help you learn Kung Fu at home. And that's already enough. I still keep to do my videos. Never stop. Thank you very much, my friend. And that's all for today. I love you all. I see you in the next video. And bye-bye.